Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress 5.8.1 on Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So this is WordPress 5.8.1 and the simple requirement, the installation requirement, the system requirement or the server requirement is you need to have one server installed, Apache or Nginx. PHP 7.4 or above, MariaDB or MySQL. Okay, so these are requirements, and I already have XMP installed with PHP 7.4. Okay, so XMP gives you easy to manage your servers. You can stop it, start it like this. You can access the admin by going to this admin section here and you will be able to check your php info thing you can also go ahead and manage your database ph with php my admin so this is why i use xmp you can use xmp or similar package xmp is cross platform it's available for windows mac and linux so this is why lots of people use it and it gives you easy to manage your control panel this xm control panel so i assume that you already have installed php mariadb or mysql and web server like apache so what we need to do next so we now go ahead and download this wordpress so to download the wordpress latest version of wordpress you simply go to wordpress.org in your preferred browser and click this get wordpress scroll down and you'll see the download button so you can click this to download the start the download and it shouldn't take long time to complete the download once it's downloaded you can see on my system it's taking a bit of time to finalize it so what i've done i've already downloaded it which is in my downloads folder so go ahead and locate it and we need to unzip it or extract it so right click and click on extract all and this is where we want to keep it in the same folder with the same name so go ahead and click on extract if you're using any extractor tool like i am i have but i did not so I did not use it so basically you simply have to use any tool that you're comfortable with so i used just the extractor which comes with windows operating systems by default but it's going to take a bit longer time so in the meanwhile what we will do we will require a database so go to localhost slash phpMyAdmin and click on new to create a database Type in the database name so I can say WP DB okay and select UTF 8 MB4 generator general CI and click create. So your database is created, you can see here. To access this database, we need this local host which is host name, database name which is WP DB. We also need a user, which is basically root user, you can see here. And this doesn't have password. You can go ahead and create one user to this specific database. But in this video, I'm going to use this default root user, which you get with XM control panel, XM server. Okay. So here we go. Still being extracted. all right guys so what i need to do next next we need to go ahead and once it's extracted we need to put this folder in um, control panel so this folder which is being extracted needs to be put in the c drive xm and htdocs go ahead and locate htdocs in your xm folder on your system 
and copy paste that particular extracted folder in here. So it's taking a bit longer, you can see it here. So I should have used this I should have used this 7z thing let's say if I say uh, I don't know I do not want to create a duplicate folder it's almost done here so I will wait for it you can use any extractor tool. I'm using this because this is a default and a lot of people won't have this 7-zip or any RAR, any similar package like RAR, zip, whatever. So this is almost done. It's going to take a few seconds, 20 seconds. And once it's done, we are going to copy this folder and put this in the htdocs folder so it's a very simple still a lot of people won't be able to follow so if you have any question can you leave in the comment section okay so here we go it's 98 99 100% so this is the folder I'm going to close this and this is the folder it just created so we need to this folder you can copy everything from here or copy this particular folder i'm going to cut it okay cut this and then go to this pc uh, xm control xm hddocs and paste that wordpress in here it's easy now you can rename it okay I can rename it WP58 and that's done. Next thing is you simply go ahead and go to localhost and type in the folder name. So which folder name? This WP58, whatever name you have given. 58 and this should load the installation script go ahead and select your particular specific language and click continue you need a database name username password host table prefix that's optional let's go so we have everything database name is wpdb username is root we do not have password but if you're deploying it you definitely want to have password this is completely optional you can change it I run the installation now it's almost done so wordpress 58 username is admin admin confirm is using weak password admin.com so I'm just trying to keep it simple and easy to remember. So we are done. Now click on login, type in the username and then password, and hit login. You can see this is WordPress 5.8.1, and let's see what we have here. In the themes section, we have 2021, but 2022 is on, it's almost released. Okay. So in a month or so, it will be out. All right, you can go ahead and check your plugins. You can go ahead and visit your home page. This is how it looks initially when you install WordPress 5.8.1. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye.